Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can solve problems using informal units to measure the length of objects. So you can see I've got uh, the farmer here and he's holding a, uh, a ladder and we've got a whole bunch of trees on his farm. Well, there's just one but there's more hiding. So the first thing I want you to note was that the fruit I've got on here, on this one is purple and that's just to help us um, remember the tree that we measured. So if I say the purple fruit tree, then that would be this one. Okay, so can you see anything on the screen that the farmer might be able to use to compare the length, or in this case the height, of trees? Yeah, you could use the farmer himself could be um, something he could use, so if the tree is taller than him or shorter than him, but maybe all the trees are taller than him, so that might not be the best use. Can you see something else? Yeah, this ladder. The ladder he's holding is quite tall, so we'll see how that goes. We might be able to use that to compare the heights of all the different trees. Let's have a look. So let's take farmer over to the tree here and holding it down on the ground to, as our starting point, because that's where the tree starts, we can see that this tree, we can just see that little piece of green sticking up past the ladder there, we can see that this tree um, has a height that's just a little bit shorter than the ladder. So I'm going to mark that on the ladder with the same colour as the fruit. Okay, so there you can see I've marked on there the height of the purple fruit tree. Let's move across now. Now here's another tree. It's a blue fruit tree. So let's see how this one goes on the ladder. Holding the ladder at the bottom of the ground again, well I can see straight away that this tree uh, is um, a fair bit shorter than the first one we measured, but I'm going to use the pen with a blue pen to mark the height on the ladder again around about there so that's the blue fruit tree now let's move on and here's a pink fruit tree let's have a look at the height of this one once again I'll bring my farmer across put the ladder on the ground Ooh, now this is a bit closer so the pink fruit tree I can see is just a, just a little bit taller than the purple one that we did at the start. So we'll mark that. So, so far can you see the three uh, trees that we've measured? Out of those three, which one do you think is the tallest so far? Okay, keep that in your mind. We're going to keep going. Moving along, here's a tree. Well, it already looks a bit shorter, doesn't it? So looking at this tree, we can see that that's tallest leaf there, and we'll mark this in green. The tallest leaf is only about there. So it's probably, well, what word would you use to describe that tree? Longest? Yeah, the shortest so far. There might be more though. Let's keep going. Oops, I moved the tree. Put that tree back there. All right. Moving along, let's see what else we've got. Now this is the last tree, so let's have a look at how tall this tree is, if it's the tallest or maybe it's not the tallest yet. Now I can see there that in actual fact, this red fruit tree is exactly the same as the pink fruit tree. So let's just pull our little farmer across here just so we can see all the marks that we've put on the ladder. Yeah, definitely the red and pink fruit trees are the same size with the purple fruit tree second and the blue fruit tree the third tallest and the green tree was the shortest. So we had an equal height of pink and red fruit trees there. So if the question was which two fruit trees are the same, then the answer would be pink and red are the same. If the question was find out which fruit tree is the shortest, what would the answer be? Yeah, it would be the green tree. Okay, so 
you need to go and do a problem solving task using informal units to compare and measure the height or length of different objects. Good luck. If you need to come back and look at this video to help you with how to do that, then you can always come back and watch it again.